All right, ladies and gentlemen, season 17 or season of the haunted is here. We got a lot of new stuff and changes, but for our first video of the new season, we're going to be taking a look at the new seasonal artifact and what mods you should be unlocking first the best seasonal artifact mods if you will now i don't want to waste any of your all's time so if you're new and only if you enjoy my videos or find them useful then feel free to subscribe i'd appreciate it all right let's get into it so first up in order to unlock the new seasonal artifact nightmare harvester you're just gonna do the introduction to the season then head to the helm on the side of the helm and yes the helm is a spaceship where the spicer stuff used to be you'll find the crown of sorrow interact with it and you'll be able to claim your shiny new seasonal artifact now if you're new to destiny or just need a quick refresher the seasonal artifact does two things first is it gives power bonus levels which i won't be discussing here i'll be discussing that in a future how to level video and secondly it has mods within it now prior to witch queen the seasonal artifact had 25 total mods but you could only have a max of 12 unlocked at any given time if you wanted to change the mods you had unlocked you'd have to reset your artifact and it was really expensive but starting with witch queen there are still 25 mods but there is no cap on the amount you can unlock you can have all of them unlocked at the same time now a few final things to know is that it used to only take having 10 mods unlocked to have access to the final column but it now takes 14 and once you're at that final column the amount of xp needed to keep unlocking more mods requires well significantly more xp so yeah you can get all the mods but it's going to take you some time to grind out all that xp so now getting into the seasonal artifact mods now there are five columns but i normally like to kind of separate them up as follows first up column one it's just all champion mods then columns two and three i kind of consider these to be like a joint column if that makes sense because these are the columns that have all your weapon mods so like your dexterity your holster ammo finder scavenger targeting all your weapon mods but you also have some other mods that don't fall under that kind of sprinkled in there and you know that's kind of just like whatever and then column four you have even more champion mods with some other you know mods that aren't you know under the champion category kind of sprinkled in there as well and then column five is normally all class item mods and they are all very very good this is normally like your really good column the one with all the busted things if we have anything busted that season is normally found here and now one last thing that i forgot to mention that i wanted to mention in case anyone's watching might be confused on this is that for example we have shotgun dexterity here in column three row one and you might be wondering why that's there because you already have a shotgun dexterity on your arms and that would be right where is it at where is it at right here and if you're wondering why that there's the one in the seasonal artifact and this one we'll look at the energy cost normally if we have mods in the seasonal artifact that are also normal mods the normal mods normally cost a whole lot more to equip so this right here is five energy or the one in the seasonal artifact is only one energy so if you were confused on that well then now you're not so now getting into column one you have anti-barrier sidearms overload smgs or ars this is a two for one mod unstoppable scout rifles unstoppable glaives and anti-barrier pulse rifles now in my opinion you should just get all of them like literally just get all of them even if you think that you're not going to use the weapon that you're getting the mod for just in case just get all of them but because you can come back later on like you know once you max out the entirety of your artifact you can come back and unlock those later uh the ones that i would recommend unlocking first are going to be long range weapons because you don't want to be up close and personal with a champion so overload ar uh, this can also be smg but i don't recommend smg especially for overload champions uh unstoppable scout rifle and anti-barrier pulse rifle all long range weapons and they're just in my opinion better than something like an anti-barrier sidearm or an unstoppable glaive next up columns two and three now here's the thing i can't really tell you what to use in this column because you might use a weapon that i don't use and of course if i don't use it then i'm not going to recommend it and you might play pvp or i mainly play pve so like for example a targeting mod is a pvp mod so of course i'm not going to recommend that but if you play pvp and you use pulse rifles and this is going to be a go-to mod for you same thing with like shotgun dexterity you know you don't really want shotgun dexterity for pve but for pvp you might and if you're a shotgun user then this is going to be great for you like i said i can't really tell you what to use but there are three mods that i can recommend in this column because they don't have anything to do with weapons which like i mentioned is kind of subjective uh is going to be nightmarish opulence unquenchable thirst and armor of the dying star nightmarish opulence and unquenchable thirst both affect origin perks either old origin perks that we've had since witch queen or the two new origin perks there might be more but these 
for example like this one affects the excess origin uh trait and the soul drinker we've had soul drinker that was the raid weapon origin traits from Val, and then this one affects psycho hack which we've had since last season and the extrovert but extrovert is new so extrovert and excess are new you can see here i already have some weapons like my awestringer that has the two excess uh, origin perk on it and these mods are just going to just increase the effectiveness of those origin uh perks but then the one that i 100 percent recommend like you should 1 million percent get this is going to be armor of the dying star we had something like this last season but i believe it covered uh solar and arc so you would want to run a void chest piece because then you could also throw on void on top of it but this time around it's solar and void so for example if we were to go to my chest piece as you can see i already turned it arc and i put the mod on so now i'm getting solar damage resist void damage resist and then i just throw on an arc damage resist right next to it i used to not run elemental uh damage resist mods because protective light but now that that's been yeeted and all that stuff uh i know we have like well at tenacity and i know that resilience got a big buff in pve and all that but i'm still gonna run these because i still think these are really really good especially for survivability which is one of the biggest things in destiny 2. next up in column four we have overload trace rifles and overload solar grenades i'm gonna be recommending solar grenades 100 uh to be honest i don't really like ar or smg overload i mean ar is okay uh, and I don't really see overload trace rifles being that good considering that the only trace rifle people really use is divinity and that already has built-in overload uh, But overload solar nades everyone's using solar. It's literally solar 3.0 is here uh, This is going to be a go-to pick this up uh, But we also have three other mods we have revitalizing blast which stunning a champion causes it to ignite and clears your shield stun We have withering heat which causing damage with a solar ability weakens champions for a short duration and we have glaive of dreams while you have a glaive equipped the unstable essence buff gained by picking up objects dropped by nightmares has double its normal duration to be honest uh the only one i really see being like super good here maybe withering heat for a damage debuff against a champion and like if you're going with a solar 3.0 ignite build then i could see maybe revitalizing blast being good but yeah and then glaive of dreams I'm, I'm not really seeing i mean unless the nightmare essence buff it plays like a massive role this season which to be honest i really don't see that happening but besides that to be honest the only thing in this column that i'm 100 percent recommending is molten overload and finally we have column five where you have a bunch of different mods you have classy restoration activating your solar class abilities grants you restoration radiant orbs picking up an orb of power makes you radiant rays of precision while radiant solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite flame harvesting solar exotic final blows creates solar elemental wells and finally solar fulmination your ignitions do increased damage and an increased radius to be honest all of these are really good if you haven't taken the time to stop and look at the new uh solar 3.0 you'll learn what all these terms mean uh so like scorch and ignition uh restoration cure and radiant if you stop and take the time and like look through your solar 3.0 abilities and read what all these terms mean you're gonna see just how good that this artifact is or at least this this column is and to be honest the rest of the artifact isn't really that interesting but this column five is very very interesting like like this is going to heavily aid your solar 3.0 builds my personal pick and keep in mind this is because i'm going for a, like a healer slash trying to have like healing up and radiant up at like all times radiant orbs is going to be the like the first thing that i get i think that's going to be huge radiant increases like weapon damage and all that um but there are other ones so for example while radiant solar precision final blows cause combatants to ignite and then there's a fragment in, inside of solar 3.0 that whenever a target uh ignites it then spreads scorch and of course after a certain amount of stacks of scorch they ignite and then it spreads more scorch and it's just explosions after explosions after explosions so there's a lot of custom like customizability custom ability however you say it here uh but yeah no so i can't really tell you what to use here uh look through it if it seems interesting get it uh but yeah because a lot of this honestly all of these column five perks are all very very good in my opinion um or they sound like they're going to be very very good and they're just going to tie in perfectly with solar 3.0 but that is your season of the haunted seasonal artifact and the mods you should be unlocking first as always if any of these mods turn out to be super omega busted then i'll either have a dedicated video on it or a build with it speaking of builds if just seeing some of these mods has sparked a build idea for you well then let me know it down in the comment section sometimes you all come up with some crazy build recommendations but yeah with all that being said if you enjoyed the video then feel free to drop a like on it and i will catch you all in the next one peace